But when you also get to the discussion of Bible versus science, where Bible says one thing and science says another thing, some of that can be maybe worked out in some way, but some things it's very hard. One thing that's fascinating, and we live with this because we read about in the papers, dinosaurs. They lived millions of years ago. And we have found bones of dinosaurs. We found footprints of dinosaurs, and they've studied them. Scientists say that dinosaurs existed, but there are people who say that dinosaurs never existed. It doesn't work out in terms of the amount of years that the universe is in existence from a traditional reading of, let's say, the Bible or other things. So then you say, well, bones. What about the bones? And they'll, you know, we found bones. They'll tell you that God put the bones there. Put the bones there for whatever reason. So then I'm walking with these people. I might be walking on the sidewalk, and I'll point out cigarette butts on the sidewalk over there and over there, and I'll say, there are no smokers. Smokers don't exist. These cigarette butts, the piece of cigarettes that you see, were put there by God. God. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> they were put there by God. And they'll say, no, they were put there by people. And I'll say, right, they were put there by people on behalf of God, because God does not go around to the urban centers of the world and put down pieces of cigarette. First of all, he could do it, but he should be spending his time doing other things, admittedly. And besides, it doesn't look that good if God would put down cigarette pieces. He doesn't want to awake the, awaken the ire of the environmentalists or the green movements, right? He needs their vote. The next election will be about <laughs> theology and environmentalism. This is one of the top, top topics it should be, if it isn't yet. So then they tell you, no, we have seen people smoking. We've seen it. That proves that smokers existed and they still exist today. We have seen, and how can you argue with that? But I do. You have seen smokers, and I have seen dinosaurs smoking. Not just one cigarette, a case of cigarette, a card, and it doesn't matter. These are, many of them were very big and they could absorb that. It didn't really harm them. This, this nicotine was not the concern of the dinosaurs. It was the hefty cigarette tax because, especially at their consumption levels, that was hard, and that's why dinosaurs went extinct. So they'll tell you, we still don't believe that dinosaurs ever existed. They'll say, and I'll say to them, okay, you don't have to believe that dinosaurs existed, but at least agree with me on the cigarette tax. 